<laughs> hey, is that goat milk? <laughs> no. That's not goat milk. No. What is it? Same as human. The first. Hmm? The first uh, father will be the first. Where's Michael then? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Michael, take the goat milk. Hey humans, what's up? Oh wow, so good to see you. Well, yep, as you've already imagined, this is a story about a goat. Greatest of all time. Nah, hindi lang po. Kanding na lang. Yep, that's right. So, this is indeed a unique little story that developed in the... Uh, look, if, if, you, if you've seen uh, my previous video about building business HQ Sasebo City part two, you would have noticed two things. Cats. Cat infestation had to go and they were not working. And I also mentioned something about how we had like a resident goat somewhere in the backyard. Well, this story is indeed about that goat. It was I was in the office and I working late. And then uh, I heard a group of people Rushing from like around the back of the of the of the office, running towards the backyard, and and simultaneously there's like another set of people looking for going to the cutting area, to the fabric cutting area, and they are looking for spare cloth. Uh, and and another guy is is grabbing like a portable lamp, and I was like, okay, what's going on? And I hear noises like cheering and so on and so forth. And so when I when I moved when I made my my way. To the backyard to see what's happening, what's what's what what the fuss is all about. Magnabot, wow, naganak na ang ang kanding. Magawa na pala kini usawa, you won't. Nabaku, you won't. Ah, so. Atingan nito. By the time I make it, it's gonna be a little bit more. Ah, so. Atingan nito. By the time I make it, it's gonna be a little bit more. Ah, so. Atingan nito. By the time I make it, it's gonna be a little bit more. Ah, so. Atingan nito. By the time I make it, it's gonna be a little bit more. Ah, so. Atingan nito. By the time I make it, it's gonna be a little bit more. Ah, so. Atingan nito. By the time I make it, it's gonna be a little bit more. Ah, so. It was like one of the cutest little sights you, you've ever seen. That, you know, I've ever seen. You know, the thing is, I also mentioned that, look, as much as I don't like cats, because especially in that particular environment, they just have no good deed. Um, I also don't get along very well with pets. Some pets. <laughs> For example, there is one dog here named Hoka. We don't get along. <laughs> Mocha will probably see this video and goes, ah! <laughs> But when it comes to other animals, like farm animals, I, I, I prefer farm animals than like some house pet. <laughs> farm animals are so much cuter to me, you know, and I don't, I don't usually have an issue with them. Whether it's a vaca, freaking carabao, Gunding, <laughs> you know, toro. It doesn't matter. You know, if it's a farm animal, I, I, we probably get along just fine. They don't get in the way and just like cause you unnecessary trouble. <laughs> so that's why our, our resident gunding in the backyard never, you know, never, never bothered me. But anyway, uh, by the time, by the time, we, you know, we, I, I, I reached the backyard. Like, wow, I had this little gunding. This little gunding was just there in front of it and. It was trying to clean it and stuff, licking it and, 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 and so on. And, and this kind of thing was so lucky to have all the humans. So all the people standing by around this kind of thing right now uh, are the workers who most of them lived in, uh, were, live, were, were lived in at the time. So so they, they were the ones who were like running, uh, trying to find some spare cloth and and and, uh, uh, and, 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 and a portable lamp. So to illuminate the area for the for the candy and so on. So <laughs> and I was chica chica with them over there, trying to you know telling some drugs and <laughs> about goat milk. What's Michael then? Oh, Michael, take the goat milk. Oh, look at this little baby goat. This is so precious. This little baby goat is just enjoying the gentle care of its mama. <laughs> That's so cool. So cute. 
If you've been on planet Earth for a little while, chances are you are fully aware of the reality that a good amount of creatures roaming the Earth, including humans, <laughs> are categorized as mammals and uh, simultaneously vivipares, meaning that when they reproduce, they reproduce not via itlogs, similar to manoks, BBs, and dinosaurs. They do so via live birth, similar to whales, dolphins, stingrays. And the process, yeah, is very similar to humans. So, <laughs> this is basic, right? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Well, specific to me and my personal experiences, let me share with you that indeed my grandparents were farmers. So I am generally aware that gundings will commonly reproduce three to five baby gundings at a time. And of course, this will vary depending on uh, geographical location, conditions, uh, as well as feed and diet, not to mention the gundings breed. However, uh, this particular gunding only reproduced one. At one point, it appears that it was having contractions and it was about to reproduce like a little, little and so on and you know, a brother for the first counting or a sister for the first counting, but it turned out to be a false alarm and uh, it simply went back to catering its undivided attention to the first uh, little uh, baby counting that it had reproduced earlier. So, at this point, looking around and seeing all the humans who have gathered around this goat, this counting, like sisterhood of the traveling pants or something. And I was like, you know what? The best thing we could do right now is probably to give this goat some privacy. I need to give this goat some privacy. As soon as I turn around to, you know, to, to go my way and I'll go back to the office, in front of me are cats, yeah. two cats. And the first thing that came to my mind was Buang. <laughs> 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 and Kuya in front of me was like, what buang? Ang iring na buang? Never mind. I'm gonna go back down to watching goat. <laughs> so, I decided to stand by and watch this goat cater to its little anak for a few more minutes. Forget this buang earrings. Focus na lang sa goat. This is counting time. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that's worthy of mentioning about this uh, live birth of a kanding is the fact that uh, if ever you've seen a kanding, like a baby kanding, a baby goat, they are fairly frail, they're kind of small, and usually, obviously, you know, like five of them or three to five of them would have to share the womb. In this case, this is only one, so uh, I'm thinking this is probably why this kanding looks like, looks very tumbo. This baby goat is actually big, it looks like it's four weeks old. Yeah, but it's a newborn. It just, you know, it's been it's been out of the gunning womb for like, you know, 20 minutes at that point, and it looked like it's 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 very it's very long. It's very big and, and physical size. So interesting. No, no, <laughs> That gunning is gonna have all the gatas to itself. I <laughs> go. Yep. If you've never seen a gunning robot before, there you have it. This is a gunning robot. <laughs> Hey! Stop staring at the cunning robot, huh? See, this is why I wanted the cunning to have some privacy earlier. Now, you know, you're like trying to look at the cunnings with JJ. I'm botting my oi? Kabastos Lika? Anyhow. <laughs> Somebody get this go to Pepsi. Somebody well, get this go to go to Pepsi. What I was thinking is that I wish I could give this goat something other than grass to eat after having reproduced such a large enough goat. Maybe <laughs> goat for lunch. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Baby goat for lunch. Wow. It's too soon, Bonko? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> tour is over. Time to get out of here. <laughs>
<laughs> Only in pH. <laughs> Yep. Only in PH could I sustain a garment production facility that came with a resident goat that ended up reproducing the world's largest baby goat. Tapos karon, ako craving para kaon sa guro goat. Anya, apit na magod ang oras pagmani hapon. Wow. Karon ko para kaon goat sa guro, kabrito, tanding. Pero ang problema sa ako na hindi rin mga sa kawin sa sasadlon sa city Wala yung goat O maharap na ah, siguro maharap ka ayaw mga goat Ayaw mga goat ang goat Ayaw mga goat ang goat Ayaw mga goat ang goat Kung wala yung goat rin sa kawin sa city O kung maharap ka ayaw mga goat ang goat At tunan ko sa probensya Naid agad sa Santander Ang goat Ambor, 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 ambor. Hoy, ato na ko. I'm going to find some goat, some baby goat, some goat meat. Baby goat for lunch. Paglutong ko katong lechon goat. Given by. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Definitely leave a thumbs up. And as usual, mahal de akita. I hope to see you all again soon. Many more stories coming up. Until next time, umping, ingat, halong, only in PH. <laughs> See you soon. Cheers.